Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and the new Oreo update that has been recently rolling out to many Samsung Galaxy Note 8 devices. So in this video, I'm going to do a deep dive and do a comprehensive look at the new changes and features that were added to the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 with the Android 8.0 update plus the Samsung Experience 9.0 update. Now, one thing I need you to understand is if you do go to the settings and if you scroll all the way down and if you go to about phone and then go to software information, uh, you'll notice that the uh, Android version has been updated to 8.0. But on top of that, the Samsung experience version has been uh, gone from 8 to 9 as well. So that basically means we get two tier of updates, uh, one set of updates from the Android 8.0 and one set of updates from the Samsung Experience 9.0 version. So a bunch of features actually came from the Samsung Galaxy S9, which is running 8.0 Android and 9.0 Samsung Experience. As you can see right here, uh, this is a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So now these two numbers are identical to these two numbers. So we do have some fantastic updates and new tactics. So let's dive in and let me start with something known as the app icon badges. All right, so I just sent myself a message, a text message. And as you can see, on top of that message, there's a little red dot. Now, that is an app icon badge. Basically, that little circular dot, the red dot, is showing me that I got a new text message from somebody, so I have a notification. So what you can do is you can press and hold on the screen. And before I go into the home screen settings, I'm just going to let you know that this little area here has also changed with the new update. So now... Uh, wallpapers and themes have their own separate buttons. Uh, initially, they were actually bundled together. So there was one icon for wallpapers and themes, one icon for widgets, and then this home screen settings. But now we have four icons and wallpapers and themes have their own little icon. That's new with the latest updates. Now let's go back to the app icon badges. So if you go to the home screen settings, uh, you can tap on the uh, app icon badges. You can disable them. So if you disable it, that little dot, the red dot disappears. But if you go back in and enable it, the dot reshows. But you can also tap on the text here and it gives you some details. Okay. So with the details, if you scroll down, you have two options. You, you have the option to change the badge style. So I can either say show with number or show without number. So if I say show with number, it's going to actually show me how many notifications I have in a little circular dot with a number inside it. So when I go back out right now, it'll say one because I have one new text message. If I had two, it would say two. Now let's go back. There was one more option in there. Before I go back in, let me just press and hold on here. Let me show you what happens. So when you press and hold, the menu pops up. But with the new option, if you go back into the settings, home screen settings, uh, app icon badges, if you scroll down and if you click this icon, uh, this is going to actually show you which notification you have when you press and hold. So let's uh, change this back to show without number, which is fine. So it's a circular dot. But now when I press and hold it, it actually shows me uh, who I got that text message from and what the message was in a little preview window. Okay, so all these things are new with the new updates. So any app that supports this press and hold feature is going to give you this notification badge at the bottom here that gives you a preview of what you just received, which is fantastic. The other great addition has to do with the lock screen. So when I go to the lock screen now, I can actually customize uh, this clock on the top, as you can see, as I've done. So to customize that clock, what you do is you go to the settings, you go to lock screen and security, and then go to clock and face widgets. If you tap this guy on the top, you're gonna see the clock style. If you tap it, uh, you're gonna have two options. You'll see the always on display, which has been disabled right now because I turned it off. Uh, but you also have the clock for the lock screen. And from here, you have access to the type of the clock, which means you can change uh, between different types of these clocks. Let me show you all of them real quick. So we have this, we get this, we have this. We even have this guy over here. And then you can apply this to the lock screen. Now, on top of being able to actually change the style, you can change the color as well. So if I tap on the color, uh, first of all, you have a bunch of pre-selected colors you can pick from here. Even some gradient options here, as you can see. But you can also pick any color that you want. You tap this guy, 
and you can uh, tap on the red and you can click done and boom you have a red clock now let's uh, pick a yellow clock here so it's more uh, visible so now we have a yellow clock if I apply this and if I go back into the uh, lock screen you will see the new clock with the new clock color okay so that's a new addition as well which is fantastic and let me go back and I'm gonna show you one more thing I'm gonna show you something with the always on display now now previous version of the Samsung also had the uh, always on display but the way you modified has actually been changed so what happens is when you go to lock screen security uh, you can tap on always on display and you can enable it so let me enable home button and clock so this is gonna show up on the lock screen when the phone is actually turned off so if I turn the phone off it's going to bring up the always on display as you can see now you can customize this but previously the customization was built into this menu now if you want to customize this you go back out you actually go back into the clock and face widgets you tap on it and you go to clock style again and this time you can go over to always on display and from here you can modify uh, the clock style for the always on display okay if you have anything downloaded you can use you'll see them here but uh, all these are the built-in options and again you can pick a clock any clock that you want sometimes you can change the type sometimes you can change the color so let me uh, go to something that can change the color for me so let's pick this one here simple tap on the color and as you can see I can pick different colors uh, for the always on display as well if I click apply and if I turn off the screen uh, this time the always on display is going to be customized with a new color but again like I said the previous version had the always on display anyway uh, but the way you customize it has moved uh, from this menu here the always on display to clock and face widget so it, you can enable it here but you customize it over here all right let's move on to the next modification the next modification has to do with the edge lighting so basically when somebody sends you a text message or when you get notified from an app you'll see the edges light up or the note or, or s9 or the s9 plus uh, with the new update they have actually added some extra options let me show you how that works so let me go to the settings what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, display and then you want to go into the edge screen right here and then you go to the edge lighting okay so you tap this guy and now you have all these various options if you go down over here you can go to edge lighting style if you tap it uh, it will show you all the different styles you can have so you can tap on effect you can have a multicolor um, notification so any anytime somebody sends you a text message if you get an email or somebody calls you these things can happen you can set it so it happens so you can get a glow effect here or you can get the glitter effect but on top of that with all these effects you have a bunch of modifications you can apply at the bottom here so let's pick the basic oh let's pick the glow over here and let's tap on color so we are in the effect which is the glow and then we go to the color and we can change the color to anything okay so this time when you get a text message uh, you'll get a specific color that you're picking you can also pick any color you want from this wheel so let's do uh, green okay so this is going to be green and then you can go to transparency you can make it invisible or you can make it highly visible and of course finally you can tap on the width here and you can change the thickness of the actual uh, edge lighting effect so if you really want to see what's happening boom you go to wide if you, if you want to see a subtle effect you go to narrow and you get a l narrow little uh, effect around the screen okay so that's another change they have given you more options to customize the edge lighting option and of course if you tap on this guy you can pick whatever application you want uh, that you want the lighting effect to apply to so if you don't want whatsapp to show you the edge lighting you can disable it just like that okay but if you want it it's right there okay so there's a lot of customization here the other addition that came with the oreo update is the picture and picture view for the maps so now if you're actually looking for directions and if you're actually navigating on your phone when you press the home button you're going to get the maps application actually minimized and you can move that around the screen uh, and that's the picture and picture preview for the maps application uh, if you tap it one more time it expands a little bit if you tap this one more time it goes back into the maps or if you just tap the x it actually disappears and of course one more very important update has to do with the notifications so if i go to the notifications 
in the settings, if I go to the uh, settings, and if I go to lock screen and security, uh, and I scroll down to notifications, if I tap on it, you can customize the way the notifications actually look on your screen in this nice, convenient screen. Now, again, these things were available prior to the update, but with this new interface, it's much more easy to see what's going on. You get a quick preview on the top here. So uh, if you don't want to hide the content of a notification, uh, you can disable these options, and then you'll see exactly what kind of notifications you're getting in the lock screen. So if I go to the lock screen now, you'll see the clock and all the notifications actually showing up right here. And, they're, and of course, they're all open and they're all available. Now, if I were to say, uh, hide the content, this time if I go back in, as you can see, you can still see the, um, the, the strips over here, but you do not see the content inside it. And then as you saw what I had earlier, notifications, or you can just hide all the content, okay? And then nothing is gonna be seen. And of course, what you can do is you can also enable icons only, and then instead of getting the badges, the, the strips, you just get tiny icons under the lock screen clock, which looks nice and clean. Now, if you enable everything, you do have a bunch of options. You have an option to change the transparency of the content, okay? So you can actually make it something like that. You can do auto reverse text color, so if this is white, this is going to actually contrast uh, to black over here, okay? And you have a bunch of other options here, but let me show you one more time what that looks like. But that is in fact the final thing, but that is in fact the final thing that I wanted to talk about with the new Oreo update, as well as the Samsung experience update. And of course, one more thing I did already went over it. If you do go to the settings, and if you go all the way down, and if you go to about phone, uh, the layout here is a little bit different. In the past, you did not have this graphic here. It was, everything was just like this over here, okay? Now they give you a, a more uh, precise summary. And from here, if you tap on edit, you can change the name of your actual smartphone, which I do for easier recognition uh, when I uh, look for this device on other Bluetooth devices or Wi-Fi uh, products. Now, if I miss anything, just drop a comment down below and let me know so others can see it as well. And perhaps I'll make another video showing the new updates that I may have missed, but that you guys have noticed. But again, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more updates to come and more videos to come. And of course, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for the latest updates. For now, have a fantastic day.